Here is a different type of a problem for um, uh, random, normal random variables. This is where we know the mu and sigma and we want to find an x value. So take for example that weekly earnings of production workers has a mean of $441.84 and a standard deviation of $90. We want to know um, what should be the earnings of a production worker to be in the top 20% of earnings. For that, let's create an equivalent uh, graph. We know on the x-axis the mean is 441.84 and a sigma of 90. We want to know that x value that will put a production worker in the top 20%. So we know 80% um, or 0 0.8 of the area under the curve falls to the left of that x value that we are looking for and 20% fall above it. But of course we need to convert everything to a z um, distribution. So the mean is equal to zero on the z-axis and we want to know what is this z-value related to this x. We're going to our standard normal table. We see within the areas that are given within the uh, entries of the table that there is a number for 7995 and there's a number for 0.8023. Those are the ones that come as close to our 0 0.8 probability that was here. So looking at the z values associated with those two entries, we see 0 0.84 and 0 0.85 are the z values um, that come close to our uh, area that we are interested in. But because the author wants us, or the author of this problem says, we want the top 20%, um, going with the 0.7995 will put us slightly below the 20%. So we must go with 0.85 as being our z value that we're interested in. So here's the z value. Now we know that um, z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So we pl plug in here what we know. We know our z is 0 0.85. We don't know our x. We know our mu is 441.84. Um, I'll write it over again, x minus 441.84, and we know our uh, sigma, our standard deviation is 90. So to solve for x, we must cross multiply. We know that x, this numerator here, x minus 441.84, um, times this denominator here must equal this numerator times this denominator written across it. So to solve for x, we must keep x on one side and take all of our known quantities to the other side. But when I take this 441.84, which has a negative sign, to the other side, its sign will turn, will change, will become positive. So we end up with 441.84 plus 0.85 times 90. So that's 441.84 plus uh, 76.50 for a total of 518.34. And those are in dollars 
and that is the answer to this question. So in order to be in the top 20% of wage earn earners, a production worker must make a weekly earnings of $518.34.